The consultation process has reached an end and all the indications are that next week the government will give the go-ahead for a high-speed rail line between London and Birmingham. Industry chiefs say it will create jobs, boost business and give the economy a much-needed shot in the arm. Britain has practiced make, do and mend on the railways for many years now. Uh, we had the extraordinarily disruptive upgrade of the West Coast Main Line that cost £9 billion. We can't afford to go through that again only to find it full in a few years' time. We need to take a radical step to increase capacity and the high-speed rail line, a full national high-speed rail network is the answer. The country currently has just 70 miles of high-speed rail track. The proposed new scheme would cut journey time from the capital to Birmingham to just 49 minutes. Business leaders have long argued that Britain's poor infrastructure is a major obstacle to long-term growth. The proposed new high-speed rail link would change that, but at what cost? It's a very expensive project and uh, the figures that build up the business case are pretty dubious. But the second one is the environmental issue uh, because uh, the original report into HS2 said that there was no particular environmental advantage. You know, it was pretty much environmentally neutral. Now, if you're going to spend £17 billion for the first phase, you'd expect that there would be at least an environmental advantage. So I think that's the big weak point. The scheme has met fierce opposition from campaigners who say swathes of English countryside, including the Chiltern Hills, would be cut in two by the new rail line. The entire cost of the project would be £32 billion. If it happens, work won't start for another four years, with a finish date of 2026. Enda Brady, Sky News.